Hi, Rupert. Hi, Jim. I have a question about difficult emotions and, uh, and psychological suffering. So, and the question is, how do you deal with difficult emotion and emotions and suffering that's in the subconscious? So, during the waking state when I'm conscious, I'm always investigating the self or the I. I'm always investigating my emotions and conditioning. And most, uh, more often than not, I'm able to return to a state of equilibrium. But I feel that underneath, in the subconscious, there's still a lot of stuff there. So, for example, I still have nightmares sometimes. And my current approach is just to keep investigating. And I think for me also, it's important to stay in the body and connect with the breath. So that's my current approach. I don't know if you have any other recommendations or advice on dealing with that. Yes, the, the, these very deep feelings um, tend to be immune to investigation. You need to take a, a, a softer, more loving approach with them. For, for instance, we, we touched on it yesterday a little bit, I think. Um, um, f feeling yourself as the, as the open, empty, loving space of awareness. It's not about investigation. It's, it's not a clinical, investigative practice. You, it's more loving. You feel yourself as the open, empty, loving space of awareness, and you invite these feelings come out of their hiding places in the body, up into that space. And you just, it's like you, 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 you soak these feelings in that loving space. You surrender the feelings to that loving space. Instead of, instead of them feeling them as difficult emotions that need to be investigated into, that that's not a very that's not a very loving approach and, and it, as a result it tends to keep the feelings buried you need to do the opposite you need to, to invite them very lovingly to come out of their hiding place in the in the subconscious as you call it up into the conscious space of awareness And most of the most of the time, these feelings. The reason they come out at night and not in the day is that during the day, they're they're, they're buried underneath the more um, superficial layers of your experience, such as thoughts and perceptions. So, so they're, they're, they remain buried. However, at night, when your thoughts and perceptions are, are, are at least greatly reduced, then these feelings come up to the surface. So you could just um, practice before you go to bed, or while you're in bed at night, but before you've fallen asleep, just relaxing the focus of your attention from thoughts and perceptions, R remaining, feeling yourself as this open, empty, loving space of awareness, and then invite the feelings to come out of their hiding place before you fall asleep. Make friends with these feelings. They're appearing in your nightmares because they're, they're calling for your loving attention. So give them your loving attention in the waking state. I, I asked you about this actually a few months ago, I think, fairly recently in one of the Oxford meetings. Uh, I asked you about the tantric approach. Um, and and I, I asked you at the time, what's the difference between the tantric approach and, and just getting lost in emotions and your response was... Well, it's the exact opposite. It's devouring the emotions, you, but you remain as awareness, and you. What, what, what I've the, the the practice, if we can call it a practice, that I've just select, su suggested now would be the the first step towards devouring your emotions. So we haven't got as far as devouring them. I just suggested lovingly inviting them out of their hiding places in the subconscious and, and just welcoming them, just being the, the loving, welcoming space of awareness. So 
br bringing them close, kissing the toad, devouring, that, that would be the, the next step. I, I didn't go that, that far this time. Just bringing them up into the open, empty, loving space of the awareness, already that, that will make a big difference. How do I bring them up? Just lie in bed at night, um, or you can do it any time during the day, but at, at night's a good time. You, you, you relax the focus of your attention from its content, mostly thoughts and perceptions, and you feel that you are this open, empty, loving space of awareness, and just, just extend this invitation. Just, just, just allow the deeper layers of your experience to bubble up to the surface. Try and get in touch with the, the deepest feeling rather than being giving your attention to your thoughts and perceptions. Try and get in touch with the deepest experience you're having at that moment and just invite it to come, to come up. And you, you'll find that it's a, there, are, there are a well of feelings. More and more feelings will come up to the surface. So is it about relaxation and sensitivity? Because I have to relax to let them come up and also I have to be sensitive to even the most subtle emotions. Yes, my relaxation and, and sensitivity would be a part of it, yes. But, but if, you're, if, you're, if you're feeling yourself as this open, empty, loving space of awareness, that, that by definition is... a. a a position of relaxation, but I didn't. I, I'm not suggesting relax. The relaxation is is the consequence of what I'm suggesting. I'm not just saying relax. It's more specific than that. It's feel, understand, but feel yourself as the open, empty, loving space of attention. You can relax uh, uh, of awareness. You you can relax without feeling yourself to be the open, empty, loving space of awareness. So. Although relaxation is, the, is one of the inevitable consequences of feeling yourself as such. So no, it's not enough to relax. So it's also, I know you said not to investigate, but I sort of associate that also as a form of self-investigation. Like no, no, that's not investigation. It's, it's not investigation. It's, it's, a, it's more at the feeling level. I'm not saying there isn't... A, a value in investigating. When you're investigating, you're investigating the self on whose behalf your feelings arise. That's the Vedantic approach, but we're not doing that here. And, and these deep-seated feelings are, are kind of immune to investigation. So feeling, feeling and sensing? No, not feeling and sensing. Feeling that you are the open, empty, loving space of awareness and inviting your deepest experiences to come up into that space. It's not about sensing the body or feeling your emotions. It's about being knowingly this loving, open awareness.